whether it's school buses or whether it's cars, there has certainly been a lot of interest in electric vehicles. And that, of course, is thanks to the secondhand market. They are already getting a lot more affordable. So Kenny Choi takes a look, takes a closer look right here at how this shift is actually creating opportunities for Bay Area entrepreneurs and customers as well. Two years ago, Max Quatermus co-founded and launched Ever, a used EV dealership which buys and sells online and in person in San Francisco. How many EVs do you think you've test driven over the last few years? Holy moly, more than I can imagine. He and a classmate began collaborating at the Stanford Graduate School of Business, along with a former software engineer from Uber. We started the business to build, you know, with basically the mission of building the biggest uh, EV store in the United States. Price cuts and federal tax incentives for new and used EVs have made going electric more affordable. In May, according to car buying website Edmunds, the average secondhand EV sold for $32,000, down from $56,000 nearly two years earlier. They're great cars. Um, they have lower to total cost of ownership relative to internal combustion cars. Um, they're very pleasant to commute in. Uh, and so it really just takes a little bit of learning the basics. EV drivers like Lindsay Kirk are turning in their older leased electric cars and searching for deals. I went and I shopped around for some other cars to see if I liked something else. And they have more competitive options. Car analysts say inventory of new and used EVs is increasing. For consumers, even better news. An immediate $4,000 tax credit at the point of sale starting this year for qualifying used EV purchases at registered dealerships. What it does, and what it does, doesn't make the car much more affordable. Much more affordable. Um, when consumers all across the United States have really been clamoring for a more affordable vehicle. Jeremy Robb is senior director of economics and industry insights at Cox Automotive. As they have brought down that overall price of the new EV, it's not quite as high, and you're getting more makes and models that are a little bit more affordable out there. The overall price of the used will continue to kind of go down over time as well. Rob says used EV inventory is up 25% year over year, but also emphasizes sales pace continues to outrun growth in inventory, at least for now. A lot of these cars relative to new, even though they're only like lightly used, um, are really viable for a fraction of the price uh, from, uh, from new. Based on sales and data over the last two years, Ever is planning to expand to other markets in the near future. We bet, you know, the company and uh, on the future of EVs and really, we really think it's the future. The future of California's charging network is expanding with billions on the way. That's another move in the right direction for entrepreneurs like Max Quatermis and for new EV drivers, too. So the governor's office says at last check, more than a quarter of new vehicle sales in California were zero emission. And just this year, the state approved a $1.9 billion plan to add more charging stations up and down the state.